what a lovely garden. What a lovely, almost nearly sunset. What a lovely pirate ship. I should probably get rid of that soon. Anyway, welcome back everybody, back to Minecraft the, uh, and the Mad Pack. So since last time, there's been a big gap. I've done little to nothing. Well, <laughs> little to nothing is not really anything compared to what I actually did. And hold on, let's just sit here and enjoy the sunset. Okay, enough of that. So anyway, between episodes, I did a lot of renovating to the building at, right behind me. So as you can tell, I'm not looking at it for a reason. You can't really tell the difference from the minimap up there on the top right. But anyway, so I've done a lot of things with it. And I will actually show you it by the power of editing. So now I actually possess the powers to do power editing like voiceovers and these um, time lapses. So anyway, what's happening in this video is that I'm showing you that I just took a bunch of glass, the colored glass that I made from Tinker's Construct, and I took the Builder's Wand, lined the glass up in a row, and just used the Builder's Wand to build outwards. Now obviously this took a lot of time, so it's amazing that I can condense this all into one time lapse and voice over it. So yeah, that's all. Anyway, we should be back from the video now. Anyway, <laughs> so, um, what I actually did throughout the whole place, as you can see from the little cut video that I just placed in be placed just now, um, this happened to it. So, as you can tell, it's gigantic. It's actually much taller than before. It's a gigantic column. Here, let's get, get some sleep done before any other mobs spawn. Because, you know, Mad Pack and all is going to murder us all. So, anyway, um, yeah. We have a bunch of floors now. They're all five blocks tall, just as high as the portals as the things. So we should have plenty of room to do everything. I've got red floor, orange floor, a uh, yellow floor, green, well, very, very light green. I had the idea of actually using a bunch of tanks and the XP that I gathered from the dragon and other sources to make the floor. It's very, very, very cool looking. Like, you can gaze at it all day long. Ooh. Anyway, so after that we have dark green, then light blue, um, cyan, purple, and then black. And then I'm not really sure what to put on top. Actually, wait. Yes, I do know what I want to put on top of all this, but that will be for another day. So, in today's episode, I want to start going into the Twilight Forest and actually showing you guys around the area. But, before we head into that little portal over there... During my time in between episodes, I actually managed to go collect seven lucky blocks. Yes, and when I mean collect, I mean I went adventuring and lucky blocks. Hey, you know what we need to do. So, let's go to a place where we'll be safe, you know, away from our awesome home, you know, so we don't blow it up. Um, Let's just go over here, or maybe down... Uh, that might be a really bad idea. You know, I'm just going to do it above ground because doing it in one of those bases, you're probably going to die considering you won't have a way out. So, um, throw the egg over there. Oh, game freezing a little bit. There we go. Alrighty, so let's see now. Another portal over there. Let's just start over here. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, geez. Seven lucky blocks. And if one of them is to blow up massively don't worry the lucky blocks will survive of course because lucky blocks i think have like a blowing res um blast resistance of maybe obsidian or maybe even bedrock i'm not sure anyway so all right seven lucky blocks uh oh, this is this remember this is the mad pack this will definitely kill me somehow if not it's going to ruin this landscape and possibly my home maybe anyway so number one oh it's a witch it's a witch. All right, I killed the witch really quickly. Oh, it gave me a potion of fire resistance. I can definitely use that in some cases. All right, block number two. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. And en ente. It's not really ent, but oh, jeez. These things look. These things look very, very massively. Oh my God, they look very scary, and they're ruining the grounds. Oh, rude, rude people. Yeah, got a couple of mushrooms. Got coal and leather from them. Aw, oh, poor tree got destroyed. Alright, that was number two. Alright, let's collect some of the stuff that they dropped. Alright, um, let's go for number three. Oh! Okay, big tree. We're just getting a lot of nature in this one. And wow, that's a lot of lag all of a sudden. Oh, jeez. 
Okay, sir, I'm afraid that you must go. You must go. There we go. There we go. Come on, die. 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 There we go. Ooh, I got massive slowness on it. And I got charcoal. Cool. All right, so that's... Okay, that was, that was nothing. All right, so... Come on. Number four. Uh Ooh, nice, nice, nice. We got a nice one. We got ender pearls and ender eyes. All right, number five. Or, yeah, number five. Ooh, nether quartz. All right, um, right, I'm going to quickly head back. Actually, wait. I think I have room in here, maybe. Yeah, I have plenty of room. So um, let's use this one for now. So let's just dump a whole random bunch of stuff in here. Um, I am actually going to set up a little system where we can actually have an infinite... Um, inventory but before we do that um so let's do another one number six. Oh, d death creeper Ooh, look at those eyes look at those eyes surprisingly he's not inferno so this should be easily taken care of wow one shot it crits Ooh, music block or a music disc not even a block um wow that's a nice surprise and now uh, last but not least number seven I'm surprised I haven't died yet this is very unlikely Ah, that's very nice. Wow. I got some armor for any pets of mine, and their lovely music is playing right now. Just let's... As we fly on to our lovely home, let's just listen to this lovely music. Ah, so nice and relaxing. Okay, enough of that. Alright, let's turn that off. No more distractions. Anyway, so... Oh wow, that looks amazing. Let's drain off our XP for a little bit. Um, I made two areas that I will drain XP from right up here. And then one right over there. What I plan to do is this corner will be maybe the enchanting table. And this area, I'm going to build something called an XP shower. Um, Let's see if I can actually look it up. Shower. Yep, it's called an XP shower. You literally make it and it rains XP. It's very cool. It's very... It's just very cool, period. All right, so anyway, um, before we head into the Twilight Forest, I want to... Well, firstly, I need to make more room in this thing. So what I'm going to do is... um, Hamana, hamana, hamana. What I need is called... No, it's not that. I need to open that. What is this called? It is called ME Drive. All right, so... ME Drive. D-R-I-V-E. All right, there we go. Oh, come on. Please tell me I have all these things. Nope, I don't. All right, you know what? Never mind. I'll forget about that in a moment. So, in order to make this infinite um, inventory, you need... Let's see. Um, You need an ender chest. We have one. Perfect. We need another ender pouch. We'll get one of those. And then, let's see. We need some dyes to replace the colors here. So, I'll do triple cyan. Um, So... We need the ender chest. We need, let's just say, let's leave the ender chest uh, maybe up here. So ender chest is currently looking at the pink wool. So if we rearrange the colors to triple white or triple cyan, it's going to be completely empty. So let's get rid of that. Um, let's see now. Next we need M M E. This is a special kind of... Um, piping. Um, not M E E, meat or meef. I don't know. So let's see. Um, M E. I think it's import or export. E X. Let's try export first. Um, no, that's huh. Is it one word? No, it's not. So let's just look through the list. It's a kind of piping that's somewhere in here. It's right here. Um, oh, it's a ba ME basic export bust. Sorry, sheesh. All right, so we need all this stuff. We let's see. M, me basic. All right, me basic. I guess it's a. You know, let's just make one of each. So we need this. We need this, which means uh, I need that anyway. So, and I also need to make a bit more flux dust, and I don't have something. Oh, it's quartz. So, Q U R T S quartz. There we go. We got some nether quartz. Let's just grind up 16 for now. Can we put it through here? No, we can't. All right, you know what? I might just cut this out to show you uh, this, but yeah, I'll see if I'll cut this. So, BRB. Righty, I did some research, and it is supposed to be the import bus, not the export bus. 
which sort of makes sense. But anyway, so in order. Oh boy, explosions. Anyway, so in order to make the ME basic import bus, what you need is a sticky piston, two iron, an ME interface, and then the M an ME cable. The ME interface is um, crafted using this bunch of stuff, ME cable, iron, glass, and then the conversion matrix, and that is made from all this stuff, the fluid dust, the iron, nether quartz, quartz, um, ME processors, which is made from this, which is made from this, which is made from everything else in the world. So anyway, that took a little bit. Um, what was I missing there? Um, sticky pistons. Um, Jesus, I need more than that. So, S-T-T-I-C-K-Y. Um, open this thing, sticky pistons. So, um, I don't have any slimes, what? Yeah, I do. Come on. I know I have slimes. There we go. Alright, so we'll make two more and an ME. So I already made one of these before. Um, ME basic. So I me I'm already made one of these before, but we're going to need multiple. So we will make four in total. So what we will do now, I've already connected the cable into the back of our little interface, our terminal back here. So what will happen is that this ender chest will have stuff in it which will be connected to this ender pouch so let's do that now there we go so I have the inventory in here and then now if I put an ME ba basic port export or yeah import bus on this as you can see there's that white line that show shines through it it means that it's connected or right, so we need all of them come on oh Okay, that can sort of work. Um, there we go. So we need a little more ME cable to connect everything up. M E C A B A blah blah blah. blah. Okay, so we will do that. We will connect those up. Come on, come on. There we go. Now they're all connected to that chest, and I am very tired. I have narcolepsy, so. Oh, oh, okay. I'm awake again. So anyway, so. What we'll do is we have this ender pouch. We want to put stuff into this ender chest. When we put stuff into this ender chest, watch this. Stuff will just immediately, and because we have four of them, it goes four times as fast. They'll all come back into the ME terminal. So M-E-C-A-B. We have 25 in here. We have 24. We should have a total of... You can do quick math, right? Come on, tell me the answer. No? You're not going to tell me the answer? Fine, 49. We should have 49 import busts in here. And Jesus Christ, what's going out on out here? There's that. Oh, jeez, I think I know what's going on. Where's the hole? Creepers, um, in the mad pack, whenever they, ah, uh, whenever they find a torch somewhere out here, they will always blow it up and, dang it! Jeez. Mm, okay, I think that was enough. No, creeper, go away. Creeper, go away. You are... Okay, you as well. Ugh, okay, you know what? I'll, I'm going to have to go fix that. But anyway, so we have random crap in my inventory, so I don't want it. Put it through here, put it through here, put it through here. We have technically infinite inventory, but the moment that we put it through here and we don't take it out fast enough, it's going to be all gone. So, yeah, but technically whenever we go out looting now, we can just stuff our ME system full of stuff that we don't need. But considering that... <laughs> You know, it's almost nearly completely end or full. Um, it's going to be a bit of a bother. So we're going to definitely use one of those many, many floors that we have to, you know, fill up with like, oh Jesus, you can see the sheep. Anyway, we're going to fill one of the floors up with a lot of um ME drives and everything, and possibly a thing that allows us to access our ME system anywhere in the world. Um, I need one of that. So, give me a moment. Don't mind me as I mine into my own house. Oh, jeez. I'm destroying my own house, more like. Um, let's see. I need one of these. Um, they don't have anything. So, um, stone bricks. S-T-O-N-O-O. -O -O. Can I spell S-T-O-N-E? Brick. Um, I could probably get one of those. And, yeah, it's just one. So, I need my chisel. Jesus Christ, you know what? I'm just going to delete all the creepers. There, that is just being annoying now. I don't want to continuously fix all the creeper holes everywhere. It's just annoying. Jeez. Alright, so put that there and... Alright, let's get our butts over here. Let's fix this hole and Jesus, there's a lot of lag all of a sudden. Why is that? I will never... Oh, I, will, I won't know. Alright, so put that there. Um, Put that right there. Alright, so let's fix this up a little bit. 
There we go. There we go. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll put that there. Um, there we go. All right. So, yeah, in all honesty, I think I'm just going to leave the torches out. Maybe destroy some of them because I know creepers are just going to come and blow it up. It's just really annoying. All right. So, on to the twilight forest, hopefully. Um, all right. So, that's going in. Let us organize ourselves. We got rid of the lucky blocks. Good. Builders won. Nothing really. Oh, right. Um, so, um, I have this needle rifle gun thing. It's amazing. It's linear. It's cool. But it's just not powerful enough. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to craft the essence bow. So, E-S-S-E-N-C-E -S -S -E -E B. Oh, no, space B. So, obviously, the essence bow is unbreakable because it's part of the essence. Um, the... Yeah, the essence of everything. Oh, jeez, this looks special. But um, it also allows you to pull back on the arrow much quicker, and it's much more powerful. So we're going to need a bow, two blaze rods. What do I have of this? So I have all of that. What do I need? I need infused string, which I can do right away, I'm pretty sure. Um, maybe not. Um, strong essence. I know I have some. There we go. One, two, three. I need four times three, twelve. And I can't make 12. So, how do you make this? We need weak essence. Just give me a stack. Come on. Just give me a stack. There we go. More or less a stack. Um, let's see. We need that. That. Come on. There we go. Just click, 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 clickety, clickety, four, six, seven. That should be enough. All right. So, next we will do that. One, two, three. Perfect. Perfect amount. All right. So, now we just need a bow. We got our bow. And now, we have our unbreaking bow. Awesome sauce. So, we'll put that there. Um, we will put some enchantments on this. In fact, actually, I'm going to do that enchanting right now because... Oh, wait. My XP is upstairs. So, there we go. Just right-click on the ground 30 times. All right, come on. There we go. 30. There we go. And I actually need to start filling that up because, as you can tell, it was my meter bar if you actually my level bar um if you actually pay attention really closely it actually flickers to part way full so it's actually getting like really 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 um empty for that one section but anyway so let's right click a bunch of times on this thing turn off nei for now let's get a good good enchantment come on come on we got a good one all right three two one Level 30, I'm really scared about this. You know, this is one of the most terrifying things. It's not being in danger. It's just looking at the enchants. <sighs> hmm. No idea what Quick Draw does. Hmm. One enchant. I feel very, very disappointed. Very disappointed. Fine. We'll keep... Let's see. Oh, wow. I think it actually makes the... Whoa. I think it actually makes the drawing of the bow faster, even faster. Before the the enchantment mod, the this enchantment, the quick draw didn't actually work for me. So I think it's actually fixed now. So excellent. All right. So with all that in mind, and I'm trampling through my crops, let's try to get out of this laggy, laggy dimension and let's go to the Twilight Forest. So the first thing you need to do is fix your POV by doing that. All right. So the second Thing you need to do is you need to go find a raven in this mass mass world of awesomeness so hmm now the reason why you need a raven is because you need its feather meaning yes I have to kill it um if I can find one at least ah look lightning bugs that's torch bugs or fireflies even I'm going to collect a bunch of those because those guys are cute all right so Oh, geez, I am loading a lot of stuff, and my computer is not happy about it. I did turn myself, yeah, I'm on normal, so, huh, strangely, there should be mobs spawning everywhere by now. Okay, I'm on, all right. So, let's just start exploring around. So, once, what I'm looking for, all right, I definitely need these, and, huh, bat. So, these are called torch berries. You can make torches out of them, so use them in a recipe. You can use, make five torches out of these, but I'm going to use them for a different you for a different purpose. I am going to make this magic map focus from obviously a raven's feather, a bit of glowstone, and a torch berry. And wow, you, if I ever get this, I can definitely show you what this does. But anyway, so yeah, I am definitely going to use a magic map focus to create a blank mag magic map. 
So what that does is it actually tells you the locations of all the like dungeons and things in the Twilight Forest. And obviously I would like a map to see what I what I like to conquer. So what I need to do is find a raven. That's a bat. That's another bat. I wonder where all the Twilight Forest mobs are hiding. They must be close. I know it. I can look at my mini map to look for any any form of entity movement. And is that it? No, it's a tiny bird though. Ah, oh, hello tiny bird. Look, I can fly like you. Yay. All right, so anyway, back to the search for a raven. So usually ravens are on the ground. Huh. I don't hear any as well. Oh, those are fireflies. That's an aura node underground, just because I can see them. What was that? Um, nothing. Jeez, well, I might actually have to... Well, hmm, if this takes a little too long, I might just cut anyway. So, um, yeah, so if... Oh, wait. Wait, what did I just pick up? Oh, blue orchid. So, that's there. Oh, no, that's a tiny bird again. Um, that's another tiny bird. Sheesh, a lot of tiny birds. Anyway, I'll be right back. And so, we return to the Twilight Forest with a raven. Alrighty, everybody, after running around for quite some time, I finally found one. Well, actually, one just spawned, because this is the same forest that I've been running around in. As you can see, that's the same um, biome that my portal's in. And yeah, this forest raven... Oh, I'm about to fall as well. Um, I finally found one. It's one in a million, because... Look at the map. It, there's no other entity around here. Where did it go? I just lost it. Oh, no. Okay, it went under? Yep, it went under. It's right here. All right. There we go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, you Oh, you. You can't be serious. Ugh. Be right back. Or actually, if this thing up here is, a, is one of them, then we're in luck. Actually, no. It's a... It's a, it's a stupid chicken. Maybe this thing over here. Uh, this actually took quite some time. Jesus, this actually this. Uh, um, where where is this entity that I'm looking at on the mini map? Is it up here? And we're looking. No, it's another small bird. Are you not? I'll be right back again. Six hours later. Uh, this is getting very annoying. Where is everything? Literally, there's nothing spawning anywhere. This is this is just a oh, wow. The one thing that I wanted to find while looking at ugh, I just want a freaking feather. Ugh. A few seconds later, you, right there. Yeah, you're under arrest. Oh, you're running away. Wow. Th wow. Just. Just wow. You know what? You know what? Still nothing! Uh, you! Yes, I got one finally! Oh god, I, got, I actually got two. Alright, so finally, that finally happened. So, anyway. Raven's Feather, we have our Torchberry, and now we just need to go home back to get, um... Our what's it called? Um, some glowstone. So, um, let's just walk around here and re-jump into our portal. Jeez, that took way too long. Just absolutely way too long. What the heck is going on? What? Um, hello. Um, I think our Nether portal just teleported us underneath our place so I don't think that's a good idea then also it's nighttime so quickly 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 all right oh wow this place is truly a mess <laughs> don't worry I'll definitely sort everything out like the smeltery oh yeah I built a smeltery in order to get this clear glass it's actually tinker's construct glass come on pick it up so it's actually just a white clear glass surrounded in dye so yeah, um, actually a recipe. So there you go, clear glass surrounded by dye, and I got a bunch of them, and yeah, I just made those levels. So anyway, so, um, Torchberry, Raven's Feather, put that in there. So we just need glow stone. So there we go, we've, wow, we're getting all the achieves. 
the achieves the achievements. So let's see, paper. We need paper now. Now we just need to surround this in paper, and voila! I can see for miles. Ah! All right. Oh, getting stuck in the liquid forest. All right. So what we need to do? I just realized I had this out. I don't need that. And watch. I don't need this. 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 This, 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 this. And look at all that. It's sh it's slowly disappearing. There. Whoa. Did I say slowly? I meant really quickly. <laughs> Alright, so let's dive back in. There we go. So, this is how the map works. So, oh, I just saw Infernal Mob down over there. Um, Let's re reset that. Um, So, this is what you do. You have to stand on top of a tree. Squat, like I am right now. Wear purple, black armor. And just simply... Oh, and simply just right click on the map so you get this map right here you look outwards and onwards from here and wow nice uh, glaciers right over there like I said before and look all those little icons mean there are there is something special in that area and on top of that icon so the icon I'm looking at right now the little arrow right there um or right around here is called the Lich King under that is called the your gas or you are and the dash and then gassed you can call it your gas ergast or whatever i prefer like your ear gas i don't know <laughs> um the little hills everywhere they're called silent hills and we actually have a really big one over there which is a really good thing um inside is just darkness a bunch of spawners and lots and lots of loot in the form of ore up there ooh, we can actually do this now in this video so we'll just fly over the little um or little big um silent hill right here but up here past that diagonally you see like some sort of evil head that is called the naga it's one of the oh wow it's one of the very first basic bosses you fight and it's quite easy especially in the state that i'm in best armor best weapons and tools and whatnot well not really best so far i still have a diamond pick but it's pretty awesome but anyway, so yeah, we are going to go over here and we're going to wreck. And wow, there's two Nagas. I can potentially get two trophy heads. So another thing, when you defeat a boss in the Twilight Forest, you actually get a trophy from there. Oh, getting a lot of lag from unloaded chunks. So I'm actually going to leave it off for that this episode. So in the next episode, I am going to go and kill this Naga. As you can tell, um, let's see. Let's see if we can get a better camera angle. Right there. That little spawner block right there. That will be the Naga if I get close enough. So, in the next episode, I will conquer this little, this little arena with cute little sheep and pigs or warthogs if you want to be technical. But I will definitely kill that thing. So, in the next episode. Bye-bye.